Hey, this is Robert Newman and uh, Ray Pekevis, and uh, I am a, a, an inbound marketing uh, consultant, and Ray is a real estate broker, and we're sitting in Delaware, uh, Middletown, and uh, what we're looking at is a sign that is three schools in the Apo School District, Early Childhood Center, Elementary School, and A.G. Waters Middle School, and here's here's a, a funny story as I, as I get Ray to say hi. So I've been building real estate websites for 12 years and Ray wanted to do something that nobody's ever wanted to do. He's insistent that one of the reasons that people buy homes in this area, Middletown, is because of the Apo School District. Now we've spent four days together. We've actually interviewed people from the Apo School District and I actually have come to realize that, that as usual, he was correct. He knows his marketplace. He was absolutely 100% right. These schools are incredible with a capital I. And so what we're doing today is uh, since we have um, some stuff on the website that basically talks about, it's kind of weird because it looks like we're targeting schools and we're really not. We're basically saying, hey, these are the homes that surround these schools. And if you have children that are in these age ranges, these, these are the kinds of neighborhoods that you can get into. So we're on the campus of the school right now showing you the school. There's this three is, of them. This is the kindergarten right here. Okay, so this is the this kindergarten. Early Childhood Learning Center um, is basically, it's, it's kindergarten. Right. Um, my son just finished going to school here this, this past year. Okay. Um, it's it's a well-oiled machine in the way that it's run. You know, right here you can see just coming in the, the circles and the arrows and all like that. Um, there's a lane on the other side of the school to drop kids off in the morning. Um, my first go here, dropping him off, you know, I, I not this side, but the other side of the school, I pulled in the wrong side. You know, I was basically pulled aside by the teachers being by like, look, this is not the way this is done. This is the way we do pickups and drop-offs. <laughs> um, you know, it's walkie-talkie city out here. You know, uh, I'm, these kids are coming in from recess right now. Uh, that's that's our kindergartners right there. So okay. not, don't get anybody's faces. We don't want these right, kids on right, camera. Right, but, right. Um, and then this one right here is Cedar Lane Elementary. So it's, it's a campus of three schools, mm -hmm. um, but they're three separate schools. So we've got the middle school, the elementary school, and the kindergarten all on the same piece of land, so to speak. Right. Um, but they are three separate schools. Roll down the window. So what we're doing here is, so what neighborhoods are, are sur surround these three schools? Like, so let's just say, what would be some that come top to mind within a couple of miles? Uh, we don't even have to go a couple of miles. I could just about throw a stone and hit Bayberry over here. Okay. So this is actually where you have to come in and park and like that. This is where I got my reprimand. Um, and very nicely, I'm not. I'm not being negative in any way. It's they. They have this such right know, down to a T as far as the way pickups and drop-offs are done. You know, they uh, they just have their way of doing things. Right. Uh, Ag Waters is over here. So right across the street there, if you look on the horizon, that's uh -huh. actually that's Bayberry. I'm gonna just film it. So that's Bayberry, which by the way, we have just done a video tour of Bayberry as well. So actually, you can go on Ray's site if you want to see inside the community itself, and there's huge. There's Bayberry North and Bayberry South, if I, if I recollect that's correctly. That's correct. Bayberry North is 950 homes. Uh, Bayberry South is, right now, the ponds of Bayberry, and um, basically an active adult community around 300 homes. But when that's built out, it'll be a total of around 1,150 homes, making Bayberry North and South uh, a community of about 2,000 homes in all. And that is just adjacent to the, uh, the complex here. Right. And now here we are. We're trying not to be too creepy. I'm glad that we're not seeing too many kids. That was that was kind of bad. People get weird about us filming their kids. But so this, these are the schools, and you can see there's plenty of land, and you know all the amenities that your children can run wild and free and play. And what am I looking at over here? What's this? Is that homes or is that part of the school? No, that's another. That's another part of the school system. We're gonna go over there. And we're gonna do a separate video on that. Okay. All right. Okay. Perfect. Because that's that's a different. That's a totally different school outside of this. All right. So. We hope that you appreciate, like, like we're, we're kind of sitting here and ad-libbing and riffing. We're, we're asking ourselves the question of what would parents thinking about moving into Middletown, like, want to see? And certainly one of the things that we feel is relevant there are these schools. And then, of course, maybe we save you the trip. If you're in New Jersey or someplace similar, it's an hour to get down here. And one of the things you want to see is a school. So we're hoping that this video and some of the other videos that we produced save you a little bit of time. Well, right. The, the thing is, if you want to look up, you know, uh, parent, uh, student, student teacher ratios, if you want to look up test scores, all that stuff, I mean, that's readily accessible on the internet. What's not readily accessible is being able to drive through the campus, being able to talk about the, the experience of me being a father, 
um, coming to the events here at the schools and what it's like to interact with the teachers and, and the staff and how committed they are to their process, um, which for me, I'm not really a process oriented guy. And so, you know, I find in life sometimes when I'm, I'm bucking the system, um, which is good, you know, as a real estate agent, you want somebody that bucks the system because that makes me a great negotiator. Um, you know, I, I get into places where your normal real estate agent wouldn't. But then when I show up to school to drop off my son and I'm going the wrong do direction of traffic and I'm messing up their system, like that's not good and they defend that. They defend this place um, in a way that I have to respect. Um, you know, when I'm, when I'm going into a real estate transaction, like uh, I'm defending my clients and I'm going after what they want. Um, here, it's, you know, it's for the betterment of the area that uh, you know, I don't drive down the wrong way or drop my son off where the school buses are, are about to dispatch. So. What, um, what Ray and I are hoping is that we've, that we've produced something that you find useful. And if you if we if we've accomplished that mission, if we've answered a question or saved you some time, hit the like button or leave Ray a comment. I know that he'd love to meet you, and, and he'll answer questions with no obligation. He'll he'll have a conversation with you, and you will not need to worry about it being anything other than a conversation. And this is going to be our next video right here, which is the MOT charter. Smell.